power to imagination gallery here we try to show you different types of drawings and stories behind it so if you are an art lover and wants to know the unknown facts press the subscribe button now now i would like to present today's topic today's africa series painting journey will take us to the vast and elegant world of african art history and the tribal art of africa don't miss out this amazing painting and stories watch this video till the end here is presenting african art history friends you know i was thinking about today's uh, painting and i thought that we have been doing this africa series for a long time today is the 60th episode but we haven't really solely talked about african art if we say so getting diluted from any specific country or city of this continent we will today talk about purely african art today's episode is dedicated to this diverse continents vivid colors and their special beliefs with art paintings so stick around with us here as there is much more th interesting things lined up for you and make sure to press the like button if you like the video too friends today's painting is based on african modern art so here we will see many different tribes from africa they are all together here at one place and walking towards light of course a green grass bed and green forests how can we forget that if we are in africa so the background is green here they all are walking towards enlightenment with their beliefs and they all are one so friends we can have a doubt here that why we are learning about african art for that matter well the answer is pretty much like this diverse continent only african art history has played a significant role in shaping the culture and history of the world the belief that africa is the cradle of history of mankind is virtually unshakable the origins of african art history lie long before recorded history reserved in the obscurity of time so for example like rock art is centuries old while shell beads fashioned for a necklace have been recovered in a cave in the farthest reach of the southern peninsula of south africa that are 75000 years old A study of African art history indicates the earliest sculpture forms found from come from Nigeria and are dated around 500 BC. We know from human evolutionary science that modern Homo sapiens began in Africa. It stands to reason therefore that Africa would contain both the oldest and greatest amount of rock art on this planet. say about the oldest images the oldest images scientifically dated are in namibia from about 24 to 27000 years ago yet most experts agree that africa's rock art may date more than 550000 years ago the earliest known rock art preserved in the saharan sands in niger dates as far back as 6500 bc They are carvings known as petroglyphs and depict animals like giraffes that are no longer exist in that area. And from these images we learn how ancient tribes and cultures viewed their universe around them. Observing the paintings may give us insight into their thoughts, their spiritual and physical worlds. African art history presents a world heritage we need to find a way to preserve now let's see another point of view 
African art describes the modern and historical paintings, sculptures, installations and other visual culture from native to or indigenous Africans and the African continent. Despite this diversity, there are unifying artistic themes present when considering the totality of the visual culture from the continent of Africa. Traditional African religions have been extremely influential on African art forms across the continent. In African art, many pieces of art are created for spiritual rather than purely creative purpose. Many African cultures emphasize the importance of ancestors as intermediaries between the living and the gods and the supreme creator. And art is seen as a way to contact this spirit of ancestors. Art may also be used to depict gods and is valued for its functional purposes. But friends, here we may also have some uncertainty that how African art influences the world. Movements such as Cubism, Fauvism, and Expressionism were influenced by African art, incorporating elements like dissonant colors, geometric forms, and fractured or disordered human forms. Now let's look at few examples on this. In Picasso's famous painting Les Diomoles de Avignon, you can see African influence in the faces of two figures on the right of the canvas that have been rendered with the angular features of African masks. It's also evident in the way the human forms and surrounding spaces are fractured and disordered. Likewise, in a painting of masks by Emil Nolde, Notura Morta Con Masher 3, bold colors and extrogated expressions with geometric simplified facial features, eco elements found in masks from African cultures. So friends, see, paintings are not only an art form but also a way of communication from the very beginning of mankind. The African cultures have been one of the most diverse in the world, considerably impacting the western art world also. Africa has long been considered the cradle of humankind and it has seemingly been the heart of the world out of which emerged beautiful and diverse art. Well, what more can I say friends? We will definitely try to surprise you, amaze you with our Africa series. This diversity of Africa and so many colors and history will definitely draw us towards it again and again. Are you with this with us? Let this be one family. Let's color the life with Imagination Gallery.
So hope you liked today's wonderful experience of African art history. Tell us if you have any suggestion about our drawing session and do not hesitate to write here in the comment box. So if you like our drawing sessions and you want to know about different paintings and stories behind it, do not forget to subscribe our channel. Here is wishing you a starling weekend. Stay safe and take care of yourself. Bye for now.